Yo, I feel so disrespected as a believer of God. I'm not a Christian. I want to make a disclaimer to everybody out here. I'm not a Christian. I'm a Muslim. Also, what was displayed as the Olympics ceremony is disgusting. Uh, I don't <sighs> You know, I watched the video three times. It was hard to watch it. Honestly, it was hard to watch that video. And me, I try to stay away from religion, politics, and anything controversial on my channel. I want my channel to be pure entertainment. I want my channel to be pure entertainment. I want to stay away from things like this. But I do draw the line when it comes to disrespecting, you know, and literally blasphemy towards my God and my Messiah, Yeshua, you know. And honestly, that's very disrespectful. To any trans person out there, homosexual, but a non-binary person, if you think that that is okay, then you're inhumane. You're not right in the head and you are very disrespectful. And if you're seeking respect out of disrespecting a group of people or disrespecting somebody's belief, you're literally freaking delusional, you know? Like, you cannot disrespect to receive respect. And that is very, very, very not okay, honestly. So, this is the first and last video I would ever make about a controversial topic, religion, or politics. I try to stay away from those things on like in social media, but this is has gone too far. I watched the video three times, and this is literally demonic worship. This is blasphemy. This is mocking God. This is mocking Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Uh, as a Muslim, I do follow Yeshua, Jesus Christ. I do follow God. God is Allah, you know, in Islam. And a lot of people take offense to this, even people who are not Christians, Jews, Christians, Muslims, uh, any other religion would see this is blasphemy, you know? Whatever happened to the Olympics game being about sports? Why do you have to bring demonic things in here, uh, pegamist things in, into, you know, you know, the Olympics? Why the Olympics can't be like how it was back in 08 and the other Olympics uh, a couple years ago. Why it can't be like you just getting people riled up for a group of people who are the best athletes in the country of their home country to come out and put their, you know, display their country talent in the Olympics game. Whatever happened to that, like, let's get riled up, beating on the drums and stuff and like, let's go, things like that. Like, whatever happened to hyping people up to be about sports and not about some satanic propaganda, you know, and mocking God. Why do you have to even? Uh, it, it, why do why do you even have to put that in there? Why do that even have to be in there? Why are things can't stick to sports? Why we can't leave politics, religion, and uh, any other BS out of sports? Why sports just can't be its own thing? Why we gotta bring our propaganda into sports? Why did why did why do we have to do this? You know. Like, I, I don't understand why we have to bring religion to everything. Why we have to bring politics into everything. Why? Why do there have to be politics and religion into everything? There's a time for politics and there's a time for not. And the Olympics game and sports is a time where you don't bring politics or religion or your own, you know, beliefs into it, you know? Why is there a belief system being implemented into a sports activity that's supposed to display the talent of different countries? Why? Why? Leave God out of it. Leave Lucifer out of it. Leave Donald Trump. Leave Republicans. Leave Democrats out of it. This is a time where you're supposed to display the best talent in your country. Come on now. Come on now. This is disgusting. This is literally satanic in our faces. And over the time, past five to ten years, They've been displaying satanic rituals on stage at concerts, uh, ceremonies, also on TV. Like this world is becoming so wicked that is that, that is sickening. You know, it said it in the Bible, said it in the Quran. This world will be corrupted and wickedness will become the norm. And if you're not wicked, and you're not good. You know, good will become bad and bad will become good. Good evil will become good and good will become evil. If you believe in God or believe in things of nature of that nature, you will become you know somebody who or who is looked down upon. You know, so me. They always tell you that if you a person who are against trans, against, you know, homosexuality, against 
uh, pedophilia. If you're like, they got a child. They got a child at the ceremony with like transsexuals, you know? They got a child at the ceremony with transsexuals, gays. And they're like, what is this child doing here? And why is this man whispering in this child's ear? What is, he, what, what is he supposed to display? And they're throwing up these witchcraft symbols with their fingers. I know witchcraft. I come from Mississippi, Louisiana area. You know, I know witchcraft when I see witchcraft. I know demonic spirits, possessions. I know people who are possessed, who get it sold away. I see it all. I know it all. I witness it all. And I've been through it all. I know, I know wickedness when I see wickedness. But I don't call it out all the time because I let them be. You know? I'm not the best person. I'm not, you know, the perfect idealistic believer of God. I'm not the perfect idealistic Muslim. You know, I'm a very wicked spiritual being. Very wicked. I am wicked in my own nature. I am a hypocrite. But I also follow the God of Yeshua, Jesus. I follow the God of Muhammad. The God of Jacob, Isaac, and Muhammad. You know? So... That is my God that I'll always worship. I will never betray my God. I will never turn into a traitor and I will never speak blasphemy upon my God. Never in my life I would ever. That's where I stand to anybody who watching this video, my subscribers, anybody out there who just discovered the channel. My God is Allah, God, Yeshua, you know, Messiah. That's who I follow and I will always follow that person, that, that being, you know, honestly. It's hard, bro. It's hard. <laughs> it's just disgusting, bro. Just disgusting. I was thinking to myself as I was driving to do Instacart right now. I was thinking to myself about what I'm going to say. And I had a lot of things that I want to say. But as soon as I turned the camera on, you know, I lost a lot of things that I wanted to say. But, you know, I respect trans i respect gays i respect everybody you know i work with a couple trans i show respect to them i show love to them you know gays i show love to them i show respect to them i show love to them non-binaries i respect their you know pronouns i respect that as well i don't call many non-binary people by their pronouns i just call them by their names because i do find it very confusing to myself to use pronouns as describe as to like you know <laughs> they damn you know instead of she her or he him those are the pronouns that was like honestly that was started off civilization and you know it takes a while to adapt to the new era to be like they damn or he her or it they and things like that you know it's kind of you know takes a while to adjust but yeah that's where i stand on this the olympics game would appear disgusting uh very disrespectful to the people of god you know people of god very disrespectful to christians Muslims and Jews across the world Very disrespectful. I don't know why this world is becoming the way it is if you accept that that you're mentally ill You're messed up in the head and you're a very rebellious person and one thing I don't understand is Why every time a trans person or a gay person? Uh, Want to get their pride out to show that they are proud of being trans and homosexual why is your expression of being proud of yourself is disrespecting God and disrespecting Christians and disrespecting other religions. Why do you have to be disrespectful? Why do you have to mock? And why do you have to speak blasphemy upon others to get your pride across? You know, like, just create your own type of trans transgender, homosexual religion and ceremony and things like that. Why do you have to be disrespectful to our beliefs and our God? And honestly, the car better not crash into me. Car trying to is car trying to back up. Nope. But yeah, I mean, I'm in the parking lot. By the way, I'm in the parking lot. But me, I'm a very optimistic person, very open-minded, and very loving and caring person. But at the same time, I can be very wicked and hateful and corrupt, you know. And don't make me that way. Keep me on the loving side, guys. But why do your expression of love for what you are has to be disrespectful to what? other people love and who they are you know why you just can't stay neutral why you just can't be like i'm a proud trans and this is our thing this is our way of doing things i'm a proud homosexual this is our way of doing things why the lgbt community can't have their own thing without speaking blasphemy upon god and rebelling against god i feel like 
they're part of Lucifer, bro. Anything homosexual or trans is literally they are speaking hate upon God and they're always cussing out God and disrespecting God, talking about Lilith and Lucifer was having sex with freaking Eve and stuff in the garden and things like that. And all this blasphemy, bro. Why I gotta be blasphemy, bro? And that lets you know that you're corrupted by the demon. Honestly, if you're a trans and that's who you are, or a homosexual, that's who you are, you feel the need to disrespect God, you're corrupt by a demon. That demon has a hold of you. and You're being possessed without knowing that you're being possessed. It's, it's wicked, bro. Well, I'm not gonna get too far into it. You guys know where I stand. I stand with Allah. I stand with God. A firm believer, bro. A firm, a, firm, a firm believer. I just woke up about an hour ago. I'm still tired, and I just want to make this video to you guys, you know. And hey, I got Tourette's, ADHD, acne scars. Got a messed up too. That's cost two thousand dollars to get fixed. I don't have two thousand dollars to get fixed. I'm not the best looking guy, and I do have a ponytail. If you guys want to speak hate upon me, you can do it. So, and, you know, but know that hey, your sins will be paid. For, your sins will be dealt with. Honestly, it will. Uh, there will be a time where the wicked and unjust. They will beg for mercy and for forgiveness, and there will be no mercy and forgiveness for the wicked and unjust. Disrespect God, and God will disrespect you, and the angels we will wreak havoc upon the wicked. We will not show no mercy, and I will not forgive, and I will not show mercy to any demonic, wicked spirit, human, or anybody who want to take the side of Lucifer or go against God in any form of way of life. I will not show you any mercy. We will not show you any mercy. We will be there to wreak havoc, honestly. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, Thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel if you like what I said or you respect what I said or you just a person who just want to follow along with the journey. I will be tra traveling around Oregon for a month and after that I'm heading back to Kentucky for my family and after that when I leave back from Kentucky I'm heading around the Pacific Northwest so guys get ready for excitement videos from me of course. The vlog's going to be lit, the travel video's going to be lit, getting back to entertainment, keeping religion, keeping uh, freaking politics and all this kind of other freaking BS out of my channel, you know, I want my channel to be pure, I want my channel to be pure entertainment, keep your mind off the world, keep your mind, you know, in a very peaceful spot, you know, I just want to have you thinking about living life and enjoying life and not being all in your feelings and thinking, you know, all kinds of ways, you know, anyway, I love you guys, I'm out, peace.